it's Raj here, and this is another watchOS update. I know actually that uh, these are probably going to become a little bit more frequent, like the iOS videos, um, or at least the iOS updates, but yeah. So basically, what we have here is um, watchOS 5.0.1, and it states here that it fixes an issue that caused a small number of users to see an increase in exercise minutes. It also fixed the, um, what is it, like the actual like badges, like if you lost them, basically, which I think I might have actually lost a few before this update, but yeah, anyway, it's 36.4 megabytes. Sorry, I'm talking a bit fast, but I have to film this video pretty fast because uh, it's a fast paced video. So uh, I'm going to download this and I will be hey right guys, back. guys, so I am back. Uh, and by the way, yeah, this is like, uh, as you can see right there, uh, the version number is 5.0.1. So now I am on the latest beta and sorry if my, I mean, not beta, but uh, software and sorry if my camera was out of focus there. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, I am now on the latest, um, firmware for the Apple Watch. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. And, uh, that's my app array, by the way, if you guys wanted to know. Um, but yeah, so, and also, actually, let me also show you guys. Yeah, that's my, uh, watch face, by the way. Um, but yeah, so, really, it just updated some stuff in the background. So, really, there's not much to actually cover here. It's basically the same. And again, I have the Series 1, so it's gonna be a little bit slower, obviously, than usual. Uh, like, uh, what most people are probably used to by now, like, the Series 3. So, yeah, I mean, there's obviously that, um, like, detriment to it. But, I mean, it still is a really, really fast watch. So, I mean, I'm still kind of shocked by it. Like, for example, launching the, uh, let's go for, hmm, let's go for the phone app. Or, no, actually, sorry, I hit that by mistake. Yeah, the screen on this thing is really, really small. And especially when you're not directly looking at it. Sorry guys, actually if the video cut off there, but yeah, so I mean, loading something like uh, Contacts is pretty uh, fast on it actually. And then same thing for like going say into like maps, it's pretty fast. But reason I didn't test that is because I didn't want to, but yeah, even going into something like, for example, the weather. If you just want to check the weather, and why do I keep on hitting the wrong thing? <laughs> Oops, no, I don't want to go into the wallet. <laughs> Oh, come on. Yeah, this is uh, definitely an annoyance with these smaller Apple Watch screens. But yeah, now we have the Series 4, so I mean... There we go. I actually hit it that time. But yeah, so I mean, it displays the weather pretty nicely, actually, so... And it's pretty fast, which is also nice. But yeah, so I mean, even like something like Activity as well. Oh wait, oops, that's a song pop, it's not Activity. Uh... There we go. Yeah, so it should load it up pretty fast, even though despite it's the Series 1 um, Apple Watch, which, I mean, it's still going to be slower, obviously, than, like, your Series 3 or Series 4, even the Series 2. But, I mean, it still loads it up at, I guess, an okay pace. I mean, it's not the best, obviously. And sorry, I'm shaking my camera so much. Um, I actually uh, am holding it with my other hand, that's why. So, yeah, I mean, also, sorry if my voice is not too loud. Um, because I'm filming this, like, late at night, so, yeah, I mean, it's also another thing. But, yeah, I mean, I'm just not going to, um, actually show you guys that, obviously, just because there's so many apps running in the background, so, I mean, it's gonna kind of slow it down. But, yeah, oh, wait, there it goes, okay. But, yeah, as you can see, it loads it up at a decent rate, but, yeah, if you have so many apps running in the background, like how I do, then it's gonna be much, much slower. So, I mean, that's something you guys should consider as well but yeah so far though the software is pretty nice i mean it is really really responsive now and it really just refined this experience so i mean i'm pretty happy with it i'd have to say um but yeah so i mean that's just my review basically on watch os 5.0.1 if you guys enjoyed please be sure to leave a like and also let me know if you want to see more of these watch os related videos as well in the comments below and uh this has been basically me reviewing the uh watch os 5.0.1 software um but yes yeah, so if you want still more videos like this like watch os updates please be sure to leave a like and also comment below that you want to see more of this and obviously i'm still going to be rolling out some more ios 12 um update videos um so yeah i mean i'll still be rolling that out uh, especially once uh, the 12.1 beta comes out for beta 2 i will be uploading that eventually once that comes out um, but yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.